What's up guys, Mike Iman here, your roofologist, back at it again today, and today we're gonna to be talking about some commercial roofing. But before I get started, thanks for stopping by, checking out the channel, please hit subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, definitely drop me a like for more content. Now today, particularly when it comes to flat roofing system, I wanna talk about the tapered system and what that is and how that functions. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. All right, guys, so like I said, today we're gonna to be talking about uh, flat roofing and tapered systems. So obviously when you're talking about tapered system, the idea is to evacuate the water into the respective drains as quickly as possible so as not to create any sort of water ponding. A lot of these uh, membranes are not designed to hold water for long periods of time. TPO, what we're putting on this roof, is, is designed to hold water for a period of time, but anything like your mod bed or, uh, or an incorrect in the installed coating, something like that, definitely not advised. So. All right, so again, like I said, the, the idea uh, on this particular roof, what we've done is uh, a TPO overlay. So it had a current uh, uh, ISO of one and a half inches. We put three on top for four and a half inches total coming out to an R value of 25, okay? And so looking at this here, as you can see, we have the cricket that goes into the drain. That's not quite finished. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, taper the, uh, the edges of that to kind of drop that in so that there's no, there's no edge ponding or anything like that. But, Moving on down, as you can see, the cricket goes up. There's my man, Andrew, right there, foreman of the crew here. And as you can see, it drops down again into the next drain. And so this is what the other drain will look like once it's done. As you can see, the guys have gone in here and tapered this, dropped the insert in so that as the water comes down, it hits this and goes into the respective drain. So obviously this is important. Uh, this roof by itself in the beginning, as you can see in the, in the middle here, it tapered down. It did not have as pronounced of a, uh, of a cricket system. It was actually pretty low. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna turn this over to, to uh, Andrew here. Have him talk about it real quick. How, how was the cricket before? Uh, they had the smallest amount of cricket in the corners that they could. It did not drain all the way to the drains and it had large ponds all along the walls. And that's where we brought the crickets out almost eight feet from the wall versus the two feet that they had before. There will be no ponding water. We added crickets in top in front of the both RTUs. And then by sinking the drains and making a sump, there will be no ponding water when the roof is finished. This is being installed to a 20 year spec for a Firestone warranty. And then at the end of the day with new coping cap, we're finished. Sounds good, man. This thing's gonna look awesome when we're done. Uh, this project uh, was actually, I've made a couple videos on this. This is actually um, the finality of about a year and a half's worth of fighting with the insurance company. Uh, they were just, you know, they were of the mindset that we're gonna hold off delay and, and whatever. And, uh, you know, ultimately we got it taken care of. My, the crew is working fast. So Andrew and I had to actually peel this back. Luckily there were no fasteners here, peel this back so we could show you guys. But anyways, with that, I'm gonna sign off. Hope you guys enjoy uh, the video. Uh, again, if you would, drop, uh, drop me a like if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, definitely subscribe to the channel for more video. And we'll talk to you in the next roof. Bye.